Hi, Sayer. My name is Colgis, and welcome to the second event of the Marble League. Let's see which teams are going to be competing in which East heats and which athletes are going to be competing for the teams. From Heat 1, we have Glace of the Gliding Glaciers, Shimmer of the Shining Swarm, Crush of the Turtle Sliders, and B of the Bumblebees. Heading over to Heat number 2, we have Minty Drizzle of the Minty Maniacs, Yellop of Mellow Yellow, Bolt of the Thunderbolts, and Gogo -Go of the Indigo Stars. Now on to Heat number 3, we've got Mo of Team Momo, Hazy of the Hazers, Gulime of the Limers, and Bite of the White Wolves. And finally, in our final heat, we have Azir of the Cobalts, Chocolate of the Java Chunks, C of the Oceanics, and Blue Eye of the Crazy Cat's Eyes. To test the course today, we have two kings, King Triton of the Oceanics and King Hazemaze of the Hazers because they fit on the course. So they took up the opportunity to show how it's done. It's three, two, one, go. Oh, they're, they're battling. I know they're kings, but despite the fact that they are kings, they're playing like athletes. So King Hazemaze might get up there on his home ground at the Hazestrom, and he will. Also with us today, we have lifeguards, even though there's no water on the course, so don't be afraid, Oceanics. I checked and there's no water on the course. We have this a lifeguard right here, a lifeguard right here, a lifeguard right here, and all the way over here, a lifeguard over here. And this fan has something to say. He apparently says that he and his brother were playing hide-and-seek on the course. You didn't tell me about that. And... He cannot find his brother, but he's somewhere on the course. If you find the fan who looks just like him, let us know in the discussion. We are ready to go with heat number one in three, two, one, go. Crush, fall by Shimmer, ooh, bounce beam. Catches Crush out. But the sliders, they did not fare well. Ooh, and Glace does not move on. So we have our two moving on. They are Shimmer and B of the Shining Storm and Bumblebees, respectively. Out, we have Glace of the Gliding Glaciers and Crush of the Turtle Sliders. We are ready to go with heat number two in quick funnels. In three, two, one, go. Was the best one to get. Ooh, Mellow Yellow needs some help. Ooh, Thunderbolts have fallen off. Our bronze medalist, our silver medalist, will be moving on. As well as our 15th place, Mellow Yellow fails to balance beam. We are ready to go with heat number three, which includes the host. Do you only finish ninth in event one? We're looking to turn around here. In three, two, one, go. Have to go. Would it fall back to surf? The limes of the way wolves take it. These are trying to fight back in. They shove the limes out of the way with the white wolves that are going to be moving on. Our first place from event one, Doug. Our final heat is kind of ironic. We have our first place defender as well as the defending last place, Oceanics. Well, they're ready to go in three, two, one, go. Who oh, close in front of number one. Nobody escapes quickly. Oceanics get out to the lead and C just barely hangs on the bounce beam. But Blue Eye cannot. The Cobalts are in second place. The Shanks are moving on. John Chunks fall off the bounce beam. So we have our two moving on. We're defending first place and defending last place. We are ready with our bottom half heats. Because here it's all about positioning. We have Crush from the Turtle Sliders, Glace from the Gliding Glaciers, Yellow from Melly Yellow, and Chocolate of the Java Chunks. They're ready to go in three, two, one, now. Ooh, Chocolate. Ready to do it. Ooh, Yellow has stopped. Very odd. Crush is going to get a push from the referees. Is it going to be able to beat Yellow? Yes, he slices right through him. He doesn't exactly finish on his own, but he's moving on. We are ready to go with our second heat of the bottom half, which consists of Team Momo, the Limers, Thunderbolts, 
in the crazy cat's eyes, with Mo, Blue Lime, Bolt, and Blue Eye representing them. In three, two, one, go! The Crimson will fall by Team Mo, and they both a little bit wobbly, but they both make it past the bounce wheel. Blue Eye has stopped. Uh, gets a push from Gulwine, who then will get a push from the referees, but it's too little, too late. At the end, Momo and Thunderbolts are moving on to the 9th to 12th fight. Limers and Crazy Cats are joining Gliding Glaciers and Mellow Yellow in the 13th to 16th fight. We are ready to go with our 13th to 16th fight. Uh, these are the bad marbles of this competition. Do better! Talk about the coaches are sinking, but Marbles don't talk, so how would I know? We have Blue Lash to Crazy Cat Size, Yellow of Mellow Yellow, Place of the Gliding Glaciers, and Gulime of the Limers. Ready to battle it out in three, two, one, go! Place of Gliding Glaciers takes a brief lead. It's the Limers of Mellow Yellow. And quick, but Crazy Cat Size try to do the same thing. They fall off and Gliding Glaciers fall off. So we have another round of battling. Well, Liars are going to pick up 14th, but that's going to be another bad result because they got um, 14th in event 1. So two straight 14th places doesn't equate to good. So now Glang Glaciers and Crazy Cat Size. Who will get last? Or I guess it's going to battle to avoid last. Crazy Cat Size, good form down the balance speed. We'll keep them. Now what about the Glang Glaciers? Who just there, but they're not even going to win. So Glang Glaciers get 16th, Crazy Cat Size 15th. We have our 16th to 13th place here from Glad Glaciers to Mellow Yellow. And ready to go was our current look painting, 9th through 12th. With Mo from Team Momo, Chocolate of the Java Chunks, Bolt of the Thunderbolts, and Crush of the Turtle Sliders. So we're ready to go in 3, 2, 1, now! Chuck of the John Chunks, it's cut off now. It's a couple of turtles fighting there. It's Crush. Everybody's kind of getting close. Even Mobo joins it on the action. It's going to be Mobo followed by the sliders and Thunderbolts come in 11th. Java Chunks go from first to last almost. We have our current standings now from 16th to 9th. Momo did a good job in 9th, but say we need a little bit Mo to get into the top half, which is where we're headed with our first heat. We have B of the Bumblebees, C of the Oceanics. Shimmer of the Java Chunks and Hazy of the Hazers and are ready to go in three, two, one, now! Ooh, Hazy cuts off but falls off the balance beam. The fans are not liking this. Now here goes B in Ocean trying to get some final spots. Can Shimmer do anything? Shimmer versus C. Shimmer needs to make a move. It's too late. Actually, they don't even finish. Wow. Our other heat of the top half is ready with Bite of the White Wolves, Azure of the Cobalts, Minty Drizzle of the Minty Maniacs, and Gogo of the Indigo Stars. In three, two, one, go! The Maniacs cut off everybody. In the balance beam, they make it. Followed by the White Wolves. Indigo Stars feel. Minty Maniacs are after the final. And Cobalts are too late. They even fall off the balance beam. In. They're okay. The lifeguards just report that they are okay. Good. We have the Minty Maniacs and White Wolves in the final. White Wolves are in their second final, despite nothing really being known about them. We just know their team members, but they're trying to prove themselves as true contenders. We have our fifth through eight fighters here in the Cobalts, Hazers, Shining Swarm. Indigo stars being represented by Azir, Hazy, Shimmer, and Gogo, -Go, respectively. Those are ready to go in three, two, one, now! Keep going, Cobalts. This is from um, some good place. You're chasing Indigo stars. Cobalt versus Indigo stars. The battle is at its climax. Indigo stars hold on, followed by Cobalts. These are Hazers, and the ones that fell off the course, Shining Sword will pick up eight. We have our updated standings here. First place was the Indigo Stars with Gogo. -Go. If they go a little faster, maybe they'd be in the final four. We have Sea of the Oceanics, 
bite of the white wolves, which he drizzled of the minty maniacs, and B of the bumblebees. And the right to go in three, two, one, now. Oh, bumblebee's trying to cook all strategy. It doesn't work out. White wolves fall off the bounce beam. That looked pretty rough. They're going so quick that they fail. And you see maniacs fail. So there will be a round to see who will be eliminated in fourth place and who will be making it to the final. Three. And three, two, one, go! The white wolves fail to bounce beam. And Mitty Maniacs make it. So Mitty Maniacs are in the top three. Even though they didn't finish. We have our final three here in three, two, one, go! Oceanics. Out front, they feel the bounce beam. Mitty Maniacs also feels the bounce beam. And Bumblebees are safe. Look at them just making it past the bounce beam easily, even though the ones that came before them failed. So Minty Maniacs versus Oceanics in three, two, one, go. This is for survival. Oceanics trying to combat a last place finish, and they went so quick, they fell off the bounce beam. And we're going to have rivals in the finals, ladies and gentlemen. Bumblebees versus Minty Maniacs as Oceanics can only manage bronze.